Hello, I'm Dr. Pushpa Nyanaraj. I'm a senior consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist at Apollo Speciality Hospitals, Panagram. Um, as you know, skin is a very important uh, organ. It is the most external organ. And the minute somebody sees you, the minute uh, they all uh, they talk to you, they look at your skin subconsciously. So all of us are very conscious about our skin. We want to keep it very clean and healthy without any uh, pigmentation or scars or any blemishes. So today I thought I'll talk about a very important topic of skin pigmentation. So a lot of patients come to us with pigmentation of the skin which they are very bothered about and worried about, especially facial pigmentation. As you know, face is a very important part uh, of our uh, uh, body. So uh, today we'll just talk about some common causes of facial pigmentation. The most uh, common cause we come across is ultraviolet rays due to sunlight. Since skin is an external organ, all of us are exposed to ultraviolet rays of some form or the other. We need not be exposed to very prolonged ultraviolet exposure. Even sitting inside the office or inside the house, people are exposed to ultraviolet rays. So wherever there is pigmentation, wherever there is sunlight, wherever there is uh, uh, brightness of the sun, there is ultraviolet rays. So because of that, many patients say, I am very dark in the exposed areas, whereas my covered areas, I am in a different color. So that is one problem we have to deal with. We will see later how we treat all these conditions. Another very common uh, condition causing pigmentation of the skin is melasma. Melasma is a type of pigmentation common in young women uh, in the 30s or you know 40s. It comes commonly over the face and the cheek area and forehead. It is again said to be because of one reason is ultraviolet rays, hormonal changes in uh, women, pregnancy some genetic factors and uh, so on. Another common problem is acne, pimples. So in uh, young uh, uh, women from uh, teenagers to young adults, many of us get uh, pimples. So after pimples, either when it heals or because we pinch and squeeze the pimples, it leaves behind very bad pigmented uh, scars. Another important uh, cause of pigmentation we come across nowadays is hair dye application. So hair dye application has become very common. Patients are greying at a much younger age and most people are applying hair dyes. And there are two types of hair dye allergies. One is one immediate allergy. The few minutes or hours after applying hair dye, people start having rashes and reaction and uh, oozing of the skin. So that is a very bad reaction. The patients cannot use hair dye at all. Another type of reaction is what, you go, what we are going to talk about. It's a little delayed reaction after months and years of using hair dye and patients uh, start developing pigmentation over the forehead or the other areas of the face and also in other exposed areas. And then some other causes of pigmentation are there like fungal infections can cause pigmentation of the face. Sometimes some internal diseases, vitamin deficiencies uh, can cause pigmentation of the body including the face. So now we will uh, talk about how to prevent this pigmentation or how to treat these pigmented disorders. First is lifestyle modification. So as much as possible if you are going to be exposed to sunlight too much, we say protect with uh, covered uh, clothing, hats, uh, etc. And very important to use sunscreens with an SPF of at least 30, protect the exposed areas and re repeat every 2-3 to three hours if possible. Uh, and eating habits, antioxidants are very important to prevent pigmentation. So for that you need to have a lot of colored fruits and vegetables. So a good serving of fruits and vegetables is very important in your diet to prevent or delay pigmentation and to maintain your uh, skin. Then coming to specific uh, disorders for photopigmentation and melasma, you have to apart from using sunscreen, depigmenting creams are available which we give depending on the diagnosis. For fungal infections, we need we give antifungal creams. Once the fungal infection disappears, the skin comes back to normal uh, color. If any underlying uh, diseases are there, that has to be treated so that the skin color becomes normal. And the very important thing of hair dye uh, uh, type induced pigmentation. So it is very important they have to stop hair dye. Otherwise, the pigmentation becomes worse and deeper and darker. It is one of the very difficult and stubborn pigmentations to uh, treat. So these are all some of the common causes and then apart from pigmentation creams, sunscreens, we have now certain procedures which we do. Um, uh, we do uh, microdermabrasion, 
we do many types of chemical peelings and various types of lasers are there to prevent the pigmentation and to uh, treat it. So now we saw some of the common causes of pigmentation and how to uh, treat it and uh, I hope uh, this was useful for you so that you can follow it and have a very blemish free clear and healthy skin. Thank you.